Hi everyone and welcome back to another Dromelia Property Tour. Today I'll be showing you all around our latest exclusive property which is in the luxurious seaside community of the island which is located in the western outskirts of our neighbouring town of Estepona. Now before we get into today's tour let's look at the property specs. This semi-detached townhouse features four bedrooms, three bathrooms distributed over four floors. The property is built as 217 square meters with an interior size of 197 square meters and comes priced at 2,300,000 euros. Now, if you're all ready to start this property tour, then follow me. The island is a private gated community comprising of 50 residential townhouses, all boasting sea and mountain views. And not only that, they either come in south, southeast or southwest orientation, which is great because you really are spoilt for choice. The use of ultra modern geometric architecture, floating structural accents and different hues are all factors these properties share in common. The only real difference is the number of bedrooms as the houses come in either three, four or five bedroom sizes. The minute you arrive at the island, you get a sense of community and familiarity, especially seeing as the houses are all so close together. And as the houses look different on the outside, it allows you to really experiment with the interior design within each house. And it's very intriguing to imagine what each house would actually look like from the inside. So it becomes this guessing game for you and it's actually quite fun to think. Now, I think I'm ready to show you the inside of this house. So let's go. So coming into the property, we have this little entryway over here. Now, before we continue, I'd actually just like to give you some little facts about the house. Not only does it have LED lighting running throughout, but it also has motion detection in some areas that allow lights to turn on automatically when you walk past. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that is a feature that I think makes me feel quite important. Now, we're just actually walking into the first guest bedroom of the house, which is here on the ground floor. Now, some of you actually may be wondering, where is the bed? Now, this is exactly the example I would use if you were supposed to maximize the space because the bed actually comes out of this cupboard over here. How fun is that? And it's extremely convenient for when you have guests around. And considering the room is on the ground floor, it actually has some very nice mountain views over here, which is a lovely touch and some lovely cupboard space as well. Now, let's continue to the rest of the ground floor. We're now walking into the living area of this property and I just wanted to say, the first impression that I got of this property is that it's an extremely low maintenance house. But what exactly do I mean by that? I mean that everything you need on this level is practically within arm's reach. I feel like the house has been stylishly organized to maximize the living potential of a small space, especially looking at features such as this. We have this gap on the staircase over here that allows you to see to the top floor and it adds more space, more dimension and it makes the space feel a lot more open which is very important in a small house. I am obsessed with this kitchen. I love the dark finishing of the cabinets and the countertop over here. And there's actually a lot of storage space which is quite surprising considering it's actually a quite a small kitchen. And who doesn't love a kitchen island? Extremely practical. And I love the stalls that they've actually placed right next to it because again, you're maximizing the use of the small space. Now, the kitchen comes fully equipped with Neff and Nieben kitchen appliances. And not only has two fridges, but has this little wine cooler over here. Now, conveniently located next to the kitchen, we have this dining table over here that can fit generously up to eight people. Now, I feel like this would be the most active part of the house because this is not only where you'll be eating, but maybe your kids will be doing their homework. Or in my case, my friends would come over for a nice catch up. And I love the decoration they've used for this area, especially these mirrors over here because it really adds dimension to the space. Now, coming over to the living area over here, I'd like to take a minute to appreciate the interior design of the property. I see a theme going on here with the mix of neutral beige tones with dark grays and black. It actually somewhat reminds me of the color palette they've used for the exterior of the property, which is quite interesting to think of. Now, 
I love this coffee table over here, this lovely dark marble. I would just fill it with table books and these sofas are just calling my name right now. They look super comfortable and actually I could picture a family TV or film night happening over here. You know, it's very, very sweet. And also I love the dark wallpaper they've used to decorate around the television and the fireplace. Now, before we continue, I'd like to take the moment to say that just over here next to the TV, there's actually a door that leads you down to the property's private garage. The garage can fit up to two cars, which is very generous considering the size of the property. And not only that, the garage is actually connected to your very own laundry room with plenty of storage space, which is very, very convenient if you ask me and very generous for this property. Now, if you guys will follow me through these beautiful glass sliding doors, we will now go check out the ground floor's private terrace. So let's go. So we're on the property's private ground floor terrace, which has this really intimate dining area over here and this cute chill out spot here, which really gives you nice vibes when you walk out onto the terrace. And also I like how there's plants on either sides of the terrace to act as a privacy divide between you and your neighbors. But who knows, maybe you get along with them so well in the future that you look into getting rid of them. <laughs> now, while I'm here, I'd also like to say that this is a quick teaser of the views this property has to offer, but we'll be showing you that a little bit later. So while I'm here, I'd like to take the opportunity to let you know that this urbanization is very lucky because it's conveniently located very close to Estepona. And Estepona naturally has some amazing amenities to offer, especially in terms of gastronomy. I'd say Estepona is extremely up and coming. It's very vibrant. It's great, especially for family life. And I think it's very underrated. So take it from me when I say you should definitely come and pay it a visit sometime. Now that's the ground floor. Are you all ready to check out the first floor? Follow me. So coming up these oddly satisfying geometric stairs, we access the first floor, which hosts two guest bedrooms and the master bedroom. Now, we're actually standing on this walkway now that acts as an interior balcony that allows you to peer down into the living area, which I really, really love. Now, just behind me on my right, we actually have the guest toilet that the two guest bedrooms share. It has a tall stand-in shower, lovely vanity with flattering lighting, and again, these lovely natural stone accents to decorate, which I'm a really, really big fan of. Now, just behind me, we have the first guest bedroom, which is acting as a children's room right now with the cutest little bunk beds I've ever seen. I mean, quintessential childhood dream of mine to have a bunk bed, honestly. Now, again, this is a great example of how to maximize a small space because you're stacking the beds on top of each other and you're even adding extra storage as stairs to access the top bunk, which is very, very clever if you ask me. And also this bedroom has some lovely mountain views to enjoy also, which is a lovely feature. Now, just over here, we actually have the second guest bedroom on this level. It's quaint, but it's really beautifully decorated. And I really like the change in this interior design over here. You've got a darker wall paint they've used and lovely blue and gray tones. I'm a really big fan of the selection of furniture they've used for this bedroom also. Now, the best feature is actually the private terrace this bedroom has. I mean, look at it, it's perfect to come and sit out here, watch the sunset and enjoy the mountain views. If you ask me, it's a luxury being able to stay in this bedroom. Now, if you're ready, follow me to the master bedroom. So we're now just walking into the master bedroom, which has me lost for words and that's very difficult to do. Now we have the open walk-in closet area over here that's separated from the bedroom by this wooden paneling over here. I love this and I think it adds a lot of character to the room. Now, just check out how much cupboard space there is here. I keep forgetting this is actually quite a small house and I'm surprised at how much cupboard space there is here. It's definitely reassuring and a great selling point for this property. Now, just over here, we actually have the bathroom, which I'm just gonna let it speak for itself because it truly is very beautiful. I love, again, the stone accents they've used to decorate. There's even this lovely wallpaper over here they use to contrast. It's absolutely exquisite. This large double vanity over here with plenty of room to put your creams, which is very important. We have a bathtub here, a large stand-in shower, and this lovely great big mirror over here with LED lighting that comes from around it. Very important because it has very flattering lighting, especially for the ladies like me. Very good selling point. Now, 
Just coming in over here, we have the actual master bedroom and I'm immediately captivated by these views. I mean, come on. Imagine waking up in the morning to these views every day. I'd actually find it quite hard to get out of bed if you ask me. And the interior design of the bedroom feels somewhat as an elevated version of the room we just saw. Again, with these darker tones of the walls, lovely blue and gray for the furniture. And I really like the decorative accents they've added to this bedroom, especially like this gold mirror that I have in front of me and everything else is just perfect in my opinion. So we're in arguably the best area of the house now. This is the solarium. Check out these 365 degree views, not only of the urbanization and the sea, but of the mountains that surround Estepona as well. Truly is beautiful and really positions you in Southern Spain. Over here, we have the jacuzzi because why not? Who doesn't want a jacuzzi on their rooftop? And a little seating area over here that'd be perfect for you to dry off and contemplate how lucky you are to have this house. If we look over here, you can see the communal pool, which actually acts as a centerpiece for the whole urbanization and all the properties surround it. If you look at it from above, it kind of looks like an electric guitar. Let me know what you think about that. Also, around the pool, you'll see those Balinesian style sunbeds and children's play areas that are perfect for families in summer. Towards the end of the pool, towards the left, there's actually the spa facilities the urbanization has, which includes a sauna, a Turkish bath, a fully equipped gym, and even an indoor heated pool. If you think about it, you don't actually need to leave the urbanization for anything. It's really, really fascinating. So moving forward to the rest of the terrace, we have the covered barbecue kitchenette that's been pre-installed, which is ideal, especially in summer or really any time of year, especially in Marbella, if you want to barbecue up here. And if you follow me, there is actually another little hidden dining table over here, which I think is really intimate and really special. I could just imagine myself with my family up here or some friends enjoying some good food and sunsets. And also these beautiful mountain views. I mean, take them in really. It really is beautiful up here. This beautiful townhouse is not only located in an exclusive gated community, but is close to Estepona and all the amazing amenities it has to offer. The house is perfect for anyone who really appreciates modern architecture. The property comes for sale in excellent conditions and has impeccable interior design, which you can see for yourselves. Thank you so much for being with me today. And don't forget, if you'd like to come and view this property, you can get in touch now and a member of our sales team will be in contact as soon as possible. Thanks so much for being with me today. And I really hope you enjoyed today's tour. Have a lovely rest of the day.